Welcome to this Hive course on your ultimate day one checklist. We will be taking you on a tour on how to complete your day one checklist, which will include setting up your profile picture, syncing your Hive mail, calendar and file storage, and pinning your most frequently used apps. Let's get started. When you log into Hive, the first thing that you want to do is to make sure you customize your profile settings. Click on your profile icon on top right corner and go to edit profile. Make sure you add a profile picture. Ensure your first and last name is present and customize your date preferences. Your profile picture and name will now be visible to everyone in your workspace. Now that you completed your profile, let's head to apps. Apps are divided into two sections. We have workspace apps, which are controlled by your workspace admins. And then we have my apps, which are personal apps specific to your workspace. You can click on the pin icon here to create a shortcut to a workspace app that you'll be using day to day. These apps will now be pinned to your navigation bar. Now let's head back to my apps and sync our mail, calendar, and file storage. Hive Mail allows you to bring your mailbox over to Hive so that you can access your emails, turn them into actionable tasks all within Hive. Once you toggle this on, you'll be prompted to choose your mail provider and enter your credentials. Once the sync is done, you'll be able to access your mails from the navigation bar here. You can also sync your calendar to access your daily schedule without leaving your Hive workspace. Once enabled, you can click on the calendar icon here and access your daily schedule, join meetings and start taking meeting notes. You also want to make sure to sync your file storage so that you can easily attach files to projects and action cards. Hive allows you to sync with your Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, and OneDrive and SharePoint. You can also click on the file icon here, locate on the top right corner, and choose the file storage you'd like to connect with. Once enabled, you'll easily be able to view and open files from this panel and attach files on project and action card level. And lastly, if you're a Zoom user, make sure you sync your Hive workspace with your Zoom account. This way, you'll be able to create Zoom meetings instantly by typing slash Zoom in the chat window and join meetings directly from your calendar as well. Thank you for joining this course on your ultimate day one checklist. So far, we covered how to set up your profile, how to pin your most frequently used apps, how to sync your Hive mail, calendar, and your file storage. Tune in to our next video in the series to complete your learning on Hive basics.